Oh, nice. What's wrong? I just don't feel like I can carve sad faces. <laughs> okay, today, <laughs> today we're going to be carving the sad face, all right? Um, everything that goes into the expression of the sad face. This is for beginners, so if you're not familiar with how to carve faces, I walk you through some of the background. There are other videos I have uh, in depth talking about that, including my online school, which is in the link below, a resource for um, learning to carve the realistic portraiture, young and old, male and female. And uh, anyway, thanks to my wife for being an actor in this <laughs> intro. See you guys. All right, so if you want to learn how to carve this shape that we've gotten to so far, I do have a series of videos on carving the male face as well as hair, beard, mustache, all that fun stuff. So anyway, I'm going to start with a V cut in the uh, area here, about a quarter of an inch below the hairline. And I'm coming straight across, but early on, when the expression of sadness is considered, we do want to start to tilt the face, or tilt the brow ridge slightly downwards. And the reason that we're doing that is because when the expression of sadness is portrayed, typically you get an angling, a downward angle. <laughs> In fact, already you can sort of see, maybe it's just me, but I can see the sadness in his face from that change in angle or position of the brow ridge. So there are some structural changes that need to be made in some expressions. And I think sadness can be one of those um, expressions. So I'm coming in with this kind of downward angled structure. And this isn't an inappropriate for other expressions as well. In other words, if you have a, a look of fear, sometimes you might have a drop in the brow ridge as well. What we're talking about is these angles here. Okay, so we've got that going. Let's see what it looks like from the side view. Looking good. Somebody remarked that it was hard to see the shadows and the shapes and the brightness, so I darkened this one. Let me know in the comments if this is any better or worse or what you guys are thinking about uh, this. So I brought the ISO down. Anyway, I'm gonna come alongside the nose with a scoop cut, and this is really more of just some of the same stuff we've gone over with carving the face but why not get to it again? So I'm coming along either side with a scoop cut. In other words, I'm turning that blade as I'm pushing through. All right, I'm gonna start with a V, or sorry, a pyramid cut. Again, or, um, or also known as a triangle cut. I call it a pyramid cut, but people in the comments were making a remark that most pyramids have three, uh, four sides, which is true, except for tetrahedrons. So anyway, I like geometry, it's fun, but um, so I'm coming in with my um, triangle, we'll go with that, three-dimensional triangle, and triangle cut on both sides, so I'm doing a one angle here, one here, and then cut, flipping the blade almost flat, and then coming in, but angling it inward. So I'm laying it uh, you know, flat, parallel to the piece of wood, and then tilting it up, and then going downward into that relief cut. And if it doesn't come free, you just go back over those cuts once again and get that clean and clear. In other words, it happens to me almost every carving that a project is not cutting cleanly. All right, so we've got a good starting point for our, good starting point for our uh, brow ridge here. And uh, the big thing we want to talk about is the uh, position of the brow. And we've already kind of started that, but to get this really nicely set, I'm going to come in with a knife mark along the brow ridge, tilting downward. And I'll grab a pencil and show you what that looks like on the other side. Okay, I'm gonna draw the line angling down so you can really see. So I'm kind of following along that brow ridge. And the goal here is to create this kind of look of concern. We'll come in here like so with a knife, create a, a groove along there, but again, just following that line Establishing a little bit of an indentation there. Okay, so we talked about the little lines here, these medial grooves, right in the keystone area. So I'm gonna start by making a kind of C-shape or a backwards, actually no, yeah, C-shape, what am I saying? My dyslexia is kicking in. <laughs> I didn't even know I had it. Okay, so I'm making a V-cut there and a V-cut here. 
Now, typically sadness is portrayed with a nice um, medial movement of the brow ridge. So meaning central movement, they move together. So you need these brow ridges, or the, the brow ridge rather, con uh, compresses or moves together and that pushes skin up together just like so. So we're creating that little indentation, that little groove. You can come in here and scoop out material as well. Above, just notice I'm using a scooping cut. Just above the brow ridge. Like so. Anyway, folks have been helping me out with my allergies in the comments and I have been taking vitamin, or vitamin, I've been taking uh, local honey. My neighbor actually has a, has a bees, had some bees and so I've put, been putting the honey in my coffee. Mm. Very tasty. So thanks to my neighbor Aaron for that. He is an awesome guy. I texted him about it and uh, not long after I got home he showed up with a nice big jar of it from his own bees. So if you hear the occasional clucking of a rooster, or the cock-a-doodle-doo of a rooster, you're, uh, you know, you're hearing Aaron's chickens. He's kind of our, he's like the local farmer. He's awesome. All right, so you can see already we're starting to get a look of concern. All right, and one thing that's expressive about the sad face is the mouth as well. Of course, this is so stereotypical of the sad face. Most of you drew this as a kid. You just you want to bring that mouth. You want to bring that mouth downwards, that slant of the mouth. So I'm going to hint at that. Even though we can only see the lower lip, it is going to affect the lower lip. And I'm going to bring some of this mustache away so that we can see it a little bit more clearly. But uh, and again, pardon the sniffles. I'm doing the best I can with my my natural remedies. If you guys have any other suggestions. And don't say allergy medicine. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Okay. I don't want to feel exhausted the entire day. I don't know if that Zyrtec stuff works. Anyway, I digress. Okay, so you can see I'm taking that and I'm turning that mouth downward. He is not having a good day. Oh, Mr. Garbage Man is here. Wow. He says hello. did bring my garbage down, so he might be grabbing it for me. So thank you, Mr. Garbage Man. Okay, so angling the brow ridge downward, like so. Even yet a little bit more coming across the edge there. I don't want this pencil mark to be distracting. Okay, so now we get into this uh, eye area. So we talked about the eyes and all that stuff before, so I won't go at, into that too much, but you can watch it in a different video, but Essentially, I'm establishing the bottom of the eye with a curved cut. All right, and then a relief cut to it. And then another scoop cut in between to really define the shapes of the nose meeting the cheek. Okay, and we can just leave his eyes almost the appearance of being shut so we don't have to worry about as much today. It's fine by me. Okay, so you can see I've kind of defined the eye socket. And uh, a lot of times this you're going to have a sad face, you're really going to see a pronounced nasolabial fold. So I'm going to cut that in. And that's a little curve right at the edge profile. Side profile, don't see that? Curve right there. So I'll make that cut again so you can see from the side profile. Okay, just like that. Do the same thing with the other side. See so yeah, how we don't have it here yet? And then we come in with a curve cut and then a relief cut alongside of it. Let me establish that shape. And we can do that with a V-tool a lot more easily if you have a tiny little V-tool. Not everyone has a tiny little V-tool, so. Anyway, so this is kind of, there's a little bit of a side tangent here, but um, 
main thing, really <clears throat> getting that strong medial movement of the brow ridge, getting that, getting that brow ridge pushed inward, like so. Really angling that uh, brow ridge down as it moves laterally or outward. Okay. Try to move that hairline back, making a stop cut to get that forehead out, or that uh, chunk out of the forehead. And we'll narrow the bridge a little bit, create a little hollow in here if he's concerned. Okay, so you might be asking yourself, Alec, what's the difference between an angry face where these two brows are pushed together and a sad face? And one of the differences is the musculature above these two little indentations here. You want it to kind of widen out, almost like a V at the top here. So I'm gonna take a scoop out like so. Nice wide scoop out at the top of the forehead. And this is one heck of a close ha uh, hairline. We could really be moving this a lot further up because, you know, hairlines typically don't go this close to the brow ridge. But anyway, that's beside the point. We could fix that in a, in a different video. Everything's moving around when you're carving. You're adjusting to compensate for different things. But anyway, so this sort of V's out here. Get my pencil. Like so. And we'll take a little bit more out of this top area here. 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 A little bit more out of the inside of the brow ridge, the tip of that blade with a V cut. And like so. Just like that. Okay, can you see that look of sadness now? And it's a little messy, you know, that's how things go sometimes, that's all right. It, it goes that way because you're rushing to make a video and you're not, uh, you're not able to just take your time when you're me, but for you guys, you should take your time and you should just enjoy the process and get all those nice clean cuts. Well, you know, frankly, I'm not, uh, I'm not the best whittler in the world. I'm a wood carver. I'm a professional wood carver. I use gouges. I use some knives. But knife-only carving is something that I'm fairly, um, I shouldn't say new to because I started doing that. But, you know, I really, I really went to the other types of carving pretty quickly. Um, which, you know, is why I started the school. Because the way that I learned to carve faces was, uh, through watching videos of people like Ron Adamson and Ian Norbury and buying their DVDs and their, their online content and learning to carve realistic portraits. I wanted to do realism. And so I do that in my online school, as I mentioned at the beginning of this. So you can do that if you're interested in kind of growing your skills like I was. But um, some people are just content to stay with, whittle, with whittling and that's not better or worse. Uh, it's, just, it's just what it is. It's just based on your interest. Okay, so anyway, I could go into carving the eyes and all that stuff, but I'm not going to do it. We really did get the gist of some of the elements of the sad face. And uh, I'm pretty satisfied. I hope you guys are too. And I'll see you in the next one. All right, take your vitamins. Check out the school if you haven't already in the link below. Uh, if you're interested in that sort of thing. And uh, yeah, that's that. All right, guys. Stay well. Where's that? wind through the leaves. Okay, he's pretty sad, yeah? Just gonna clean him up a little bit. Maybe re reestablish those grooves really quick. See, I always do this, right? I say goodbye, 
and then I make these changes. There we go. There we go. Cool. Okay. Goodbye for real this time. I just want to clean that those pencil marks off first. Shh. Don't tell anyone. I'm having a hard time saying goodbye. Alright. Bless you guys. Thanks. Guys, I forgot one thing. You you want to typically have a little groove above this area as a representation of the skin being pushed up. So you wanna create a little V groove just above. And this is where if you have a veto, oh my gosh, it's way easier. You're gonna have way more fun with this <laughs> if you're trying to do it with a, with a knife. It's kind of a hassle, but even just a little line there, right? Just, just as a result of that compression of the skin. All right, so just a line, that's it. Okay, that's all guys, just wanted to show you that. You can make these more pronounced and do a row or two of them as an impact from the from the brow ridge. I'll just show you another little one. They don't have to be perfectly straight across. In fact, it's better if they're not. Just a couple of lines there. All right, guys, that's it. Bye. <laughs>